Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click on like and subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today I'm going to go over the My Rust Sound app. That's the app down the bottom left hand corner. A lot of people are having troubles with the uh, Rust Sound actually connecting. Uh, when they click on their app, it's just spinning like this one is. It won't download. Sometimes the devices disconnect, your streamers lock up, uh, things like that happen. The first thing you want to do is look at your device or go unplug your device. Uh, on the front of it, there should be a green light indicating that there, that's powered on, it's connected to the internet. If it's flashing orange or red, pull the plug on the back, plug it back in, wait for about a minute and a half to two minutes for that light to turn green. Once that light turns green, you'll be ready to go on to the next step. So the next thing is, is the Rust Sound app has been updated and the firmwares have been updated on most of your equipment. Most people don't do firmware updates and if your installer didn't set it up to automatically update, your firmware is probably really out of date. So the first thing we want to do is go into our App Store. This could be the PlayStation or My Play Store or the, um, I think it's the Play Store on Google or the App Store on the um, iPhone. We want to download the Rust Sound app. It's not called My Rust Sound anymore, just plain Rust Sound. Once that's downloaded, we're going to open it. This is going to open up almost in the same format as what they had before. They've changed a few icons around, but with a little bit of clicking, you can figure out what you're doing with it. Now on the top right hand side is the settings gear and normally that's where you would go to ch check your bass and treble, balance, turn on volume, all that good stuff. We want to hit the X here. What I want to do this time is I want to press and hold that settings gear. By doing that, that brings up this extra little menu that probably no one's ever seen. This is the administrator menu. From here I want to click on my device. Mine happens to be an MC88. Yours may be something different, but you want to click on the settings of the device. Once I click on those device settings, it's going to take me into another menu you've probably never seen before. This gives you the MAC address, uh, DHCP enabled. This is basically where the installer goes when he unlocks your Rust Sound device in the first place. Now there's nothing in here you can really mess up. Um, I wouldn't go out of my way to push buttons. You don't know what you're doing, but you can't really screw up the device in these menus. But we want to update the firmware. So what we want to hit, do is hit the three button or the three bar button at the top right hand corner. From there on the left hand side, we want to click administration. If you look down underneath that, you'll see firmware update. Click on that. Now mine is already updated. Yours may say nothing here where it says firmware is up to date. It may say search for new firmware, check for new firmware. Uh, depending on what version you have currently, it may look a little bit different. You want to click on the web update on the side. Now this may take anywhere from 2 minutes to 20 minutes to actually download. So once it starts updating, your device may turn on turn off a couple times. And again, depending on how old the software is, how fast your internet connection is, it may take a while, so don't be impatient with it. The best way to tell when it's done is if you pull down on the page, when you go to reload, this page should come back up. If it comes up as a blank page or nothing there, it's still working. It's still downloading its software. Um, I usually just shut it off and let it go for 15, 20 minutes and go do something else and come back to it. Once you're done with all that, when you get back into your device, Everything should work like it was um, prior to anything happening to it when you got it like it was new, basically. Um, you should be able to connect faster, easier, and that should take care of all your connectivity problems with the app. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I will be doing a new video on how to um, change all the settings in this particular app, and I might go over that setup menu a little bit more, although there's not a whole lot in there you can do unless you're a Rust Sound installer. Uh, you need an authorized login and password to get through a lot of those menus, so they won't do you much good, but I still may go over them. 